Hello, my name is André Lacroix. I'm from the University of Montreal, in Canada. I'm also a chair of the International Society of Endocrinology. So I'm here at the uh, Egypt Society of Endocrinology to speak about two topics. The first one is on Cushing syndrome, which is a relatively rare disease, but there's been a lot of uh, new understanding in terms of the molecular and genetic causes of both pituitary and adrenal causes of Cushing syndrome, which help us to understand the mechanisms that these diseases appear, to screen patients or their families for these diseases, and also that open new possibilities in terms of medical therapy uh, to either decrease ACTH production from the pituitary tumors or to better control uh, cortisol production to see that the disease is developing and eventually possibly to prevent development of those disease. So this is a very exciting period for uh, Cushing syndrome. And then I'm going to be speaking about a much more frequent uh, disease, which is an adrenal disorder, which is primary aldosteronism, which is still very much unrecognized as it represents about 10% of patients with hypertension have primary aldosteronism. And this brings about a four to five fold increased risk in terms of cardiovascular deleterious outcomes in patients with primary aldo. So it's very important that we recognize patients amongst the general hypertensive population that have primary aldosteronism to uh, diagnose appropriately whether it's coming from a unilateral or bilateral source so that adequate surgery or medical therapy is applied to these patients because we want to decrease the cardiovascular deleterious effect of uh, excessive aldosterone. So thank you very much.